And we like it because they were so clever to get one of the darling animations, adult animations of all times, that celebrated more than 10 years on television, which are The Simpsons. And they transformed the message, you know, instead of doing something boring, you know, or fighting Coke, Pepsi, whatever. It was fun for a certain time. They got something so nice, which is content. And they use content, and they create a little capsule, a little story. She didn't like it, so she's leaving. Uh, but they created this little story that we love, you know, and, and it was one of the, 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 the 30 seconds, so no one's gonna leave now. If you read it, you're gonna stay. You really okay. uh, that's why I think it's clever, because consumers like that, you know. Consumers like they will stop for it. You know, oh, but nobody's watching uh, uh, advertising anymore. You know, this is the example. People go, okay. if you go to YouTube, this, this has so many viewers. You know, it's like, if I say a number, I'm going to be lying. But it's like thousands of viewers. Like, there they go, they watch it because they like it. So everyone knows it's scope. You know, sometimes people say, oh, you can do something so clever, but you don't remember what was the ad about. Well, that's not a good ad. That's not good. That's not a good creative idea. This one, you can remember this is called the music is called, it's the image is called, the whole feeling of it, the message is it's, it's open, open happiness. So it's really good, and I think it's a great example of how you can transform things to make it very interesting, and how content is content. It can be in a cell phone, it can be on the internet, it can be on TV, it can be anywhere. You know. This, this is a very good example, I like it a lot. The second one is Geico. So how many of you live in the US? Okay, so for the ones that don't live in the US, probably don't, they don't know, but Geico, it's an insurance company. Uh, and selling insurance can be very, very boring. And um, thank God I don't work for Geico. But if I need a job in Geico, I like Geico. I have Geico. Uh, they started in 2004. A campaign that, uh, that they didn't know it was going to turn out to be one of the biggest hits of all the times uh, on the content, on the flexibility, on the, on the, on the creative side. <coughs> they got like, and said, many people in the, their research said, uh, it's really hard for me to choose the insurance company. And, and because a lot of people said that it's hard to, to to select your insurance company. They came up with a concept that uh, it's so easy to have Geico that even a caveman can do it. Okay, so it's so easy that really a caveman can, can have, you know, the, the little rock car, like the, you know, for instance, they, they can have Geico. Uh, and that became something so uh, amazing that uh, I'm going to show you one of the 30 second commercials. They put a caveman in the modern society. And, they had so many of those ads. Those ads were so amazing. Now they have this boring user, you know, kind of user. But uh, I really like the caveman. It has sound, right? I like sound. Really. <laughs> like I said, we live in a society where the individual ego and the group dynamic are in constant struggle. Response? Yeah, I have a response. Uh, what? Guy got 15 minutes. Could save you 15% or more on car insurance. It's really nice because it's, it's all about this concept, like, you know, what are you talking about? You know, it's like the caveman saying, I'm not that stupid, you know? Even though they don't use both dogs, they were very successful at the time. <laughs> and they were so successful that in 2007, they created a, a TV series. It all started with us, the caveman. Since day one, our people have always been where the action. Sure, maybe not in front of center, but if you're enjoying your modern civilization, you might want to send us a little thank you guys. We're not that hard to find. We're right here beside us. We're really not that hard to find. Just a little better look. I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing. If I would be the one creating this, this, um, this, this idea, you know, this advertising idea, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> because this is so amazing that I created an idea, it's a caveman, and you know, this is for a commercial. And then someone from a network says, you know what, this is so great, I'm going to do a mini series, I'm going to do a series about it. Unfortunately, the series wasn't a big hit, because I think uh, all the cavemen were dead, 
And there were not as many other people interested in knowing how the cavemen do in modern time. But again, if you think about it, imagine the recall of the brand and how the content was so powerful, the idea, the creativity was so powerful to get everywhere that a network would do a two-season work of, of the cavemen. And on top of it, the cavemen were even invited to TV shows. They started with that insurance commercial, right? And then it became the show. Well, also, there's a lot of issues in, in modern society that cavemen face on a day to day basis, and that's what the show's about. And I think, like, for us, what, you know, what we're dealing with is certain people don't even think that cavemen exist. In modern, in modern times, and some people don't think that cavemen ever existed because they don't believe in evolution. <laughs> So for uh, um, five years, the Cayman was so important to our society, you know, that I was really sad when they canceled the show. And again, this is, this is how to transform the content in something so interesting. And they had even websites, they had like fun clubs. It was, it was incredible. It's like we created, you know, a, a, a character uh, uh, that became so uh, uh, strong in the day to day. Uh, that the message, once again, it was stronger than just a commercial, you know? So the content became much more important than just producing a commercial. So that when you do, when you create an idea, again, it can be an idea, it can be a commercial, it can be a product, it can be a, a strategy. You have to think out of the box. Don't follow so much the formulas you have. You have to get out of your comfort space and go places where you wouldn't go to think about something going to deliver. So th this is a little bit of a message uh, that I have before I go to what, uh, why, why uh, uh, last year uh, uh, I created a reality show uh, that was very successful. And, and everyone is a little bit like this, you know, I, I'm okay on time, right? I'm almost at the end, so. Yeah, if someone does like this, and then I put my glasses to see that you don't have. Okay. So, uh, when reality show came to television, uh, I was a little bit like, I don't like that. You know, this is stupid, you know, the Big Brother stuff, you know, I don't like that, this exposure. You know, I felt a little offended. I said, you know, this is not what I'm looking for. I like quality TV, you know, like Ellen the Generator, so over. Uh, <laughs> and, Later, you know, that changed, you know, then I went back and said, you know, young, young people are watching this, I have to watch, you know, young people have Facebook, I have to have it, so uh, I have to do it, you know, if you don't have it, you have to do it. Uh, and then, uh, what I like about the reality format is that it has a direct connection with the viewer, with the consumer. You know, so if you work to, in an industry that, uh, again, uh, produces bread, Try to think like, how can I do a, a reality show with my brand? You know, like, try to think a little bit how you can get closer to, to your consumer, your viewer. And, and the reality format uses that a lot. People like to see the reality. Uh, because there's a lot of identification, you know, the viewer identifies himself uh, with real people, you know. Uh, and the beauty of this is that when you do uh, the product integration, it's really well accepted. The brand integration and, and the product integration is because it's part of your day to day. So, your reality show is about uh, uh, home, which was my, my reality show. You can integrate a lot of products from Nestle or from 